What is one of the most popular gated communities in Temecula? It's Rorapa Ranch, and that's what we're talking about today, starting right now. Hi, I'm Jessica Janung with Active Realty. If you are finding these videos helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash that bell icon to get notified when we post a new video, which is every week. Okay, let's get to Rorapa Ranch. Like I said, this is a gated community and there is a little more to the story. There is this beautiful gated entryway on Rorapa Meadows Road coming in from Murrieta Hot Springs. This gate had regular security guard coverage in the past, but over the years, the HOA has changed it up a little bit with a combination of staffing and self-service entry keypads, as well as fobs for the residents. While this is a guard gated community, the gate attendant is not there 24 seven. The gate attendant is usually there during the daytime hours, but those hours have been known to change over the past few months. Besides the main gate with the grand entrance, there are several other resident access gates. As I mentioned, Rorapa is not truly a 24 seven guard gated community, but there are a few that are guarded 24 seven in the area, such as Greer Ranch and Bear Creek in Murrieta, and also the Colony, which is a 55 and older community, if you're looking for 24 seven front gate security. Last week, we did a video on Somers Bend, the last and biggest master plan new construction community in Temecula. We are working our way north up Butterfield where it meets Murrieta Hot Springs headed west. The main gate is where Poray Road crosses Murrieta Hot Springs to the north and Rorapa Meadow Road goes south. While Rorapa is in the city of Temecula, it is very near to the Murrieta border. If we keep going west on Murrieta Hot Springs, you will cross over um, into Murrieta and you're gonna pass Central Park, which is one of my favorite Murrieta neighborhoods. Keep an eye out for a neighborhood tour of Central Park coming soon. Central Park and a couple other Murrieta neighborhoods in this area, they happen to be zoned for Temecula Unified School District, which is often important to many of my clients. Maybe it's because Temecula is a little bit pricier than Murrieta. Folks think that the city and the school Schools in general are a little bit better, but I, I am a Murrieta resident, so I got to stick up for Murrieta. Murrieta, also the school district ranks very high. Um, if you check out sites like greatschools.org, I hear great things from parents about both school districts. Rorapa Ranch is zoned for Nicholas Valley Elementary School, James Day Middle School, and Chaparral High School. Rorapa has top notch amenities a huge, beautiful clubhouse with a full kitchen, an Olympic sized lap pool, a spa, a one foot deep pool for the kids, a fitness center with tons of equipment. So no need for a gym membership. They have a yoga room. They have lots of play areas for the kids and sport courts. So how much are homes in Rorapa? They are currently in the high 500s and 600 thousands right now. If you want to know exactly what kind of homes are for sale right now, I have included a link down below in the description that will show you everything on the MLS in real time. Feel free to check that out. Let's talk about the builders and history a little. The community builders were KB Homes, Standard Pacific, and Vandale Homes. Standard Pacific built out two sub-communities called Montego and Cambridge. KB Homes built out Pinnacle, though we don't see Pinnacle mentioned too much on the MLS anymore. The sizes of the homes, of course, vary in the different models, but at the time of build out, um, KB was advertising the larger models up to 4,422 square feet and Standard Pacific was in the 2,400 to 3,500 square foot range. The architectural designs are what we see a lot of from even the current builders. So we've got Spanish, Craftsman, and Italian styles. The high-end materials used in the homes are focused on a buyer that is well-traveled according to early community marketing. Um, they have hotel and spa-like bathrooms. They use upgraded tiles and stone materials. There's large oversized soaking tubs and benches in the showers, um, just to name a few of the upgrades that a lot of the homes have. My favorite feature I often see in Rorapa homes is the indoor outdoor living with built in covered patios on the ground level with the balconies above. Rorapa is one of the few track communities in Temecula where you can get a California room and truly enjoy the indoor outdoor living. Many homes have that huge three panel sliding glass door that opens to a covered patio that often has a ceiling fan and a built in fireplace. A great California room feels like an extension of your living room. 
That's a wrap on Aurora Paw. We'll see you next week. Bye. Could you tell that I just had a sneeze attack before that last take? <laughs>